So if you follow our Instagram or Facebook, you would have seen us post a similar image to this one that you can see right here, where we asked you the question, which ones would you choose and why? Now that's a little bit of a trick question and some of you picked up on that because your choice of skates shouldn't be based on which ones you think look the best or which ones your favorite player are using or a pair that maybe a friend recommended. There's a couple of things you need to keep in mind when you're looking for a brand new pair of hockey skates and that's exactly what we're gonna to touch on in this video. Let's get to it. If I owned a hockey store, the way I would do it is every single person that came into that store to buy a pair of skates, I would put a blindfold on them because your decision of which skates you wanna go with should have nothing to do with what they look like. First and foremost should be the fit. Right off the back of that should be the comfort. And then next is gonna be the support level that the skate offers you. Now what I mean by that, if we're for example to look at the Bauer Vapor line of skates, now they have quite a narrow fit. So if you need to have a narrow fitting skate and you've decided to go with the Vapors because they're the most comfortable for you, you need to decide which skate within that Vapor range that you need to get. Because the One Xs are the top end skates that cost a lot of money. But below that, there's a whole line of different other Vapor skates that you can pick up. For example, like the X600s. Now what we mean by this is the further down the chain of those vapor skates you go, the softer the structure of the skate becomes. Of course you're going to be losing a little bit of those features that we like to see in those top end skates. I mean the skate is going to be constructed from slightly different materials the further down the way that that chain of that you go down. But the important thing is finding the right level of support for yourself. So if you're a player of average build, you're only going to be playing say maybe once a week and you're playing at a fairly intermediate level of hockey, you might not need to go for these super expensive 1X skates. You might find that the X600s are going to give you all of the performance and support that you need. Now on the flip side, if you're a beginner but you're very built, very heavy, intermediate levels of skates might not offer you the right level of support. And this is something that I see so frequently, even at the rink that I skate at, especially around the quarter package of the skates near the eyelets, you'll start to see the skate actually collapsing on itself, creases, folds. That's normally a good indication of the skates are either very, very old or that the person has purchased the wrong pair of skates and they are far too soft for the level of support that they require on the ice. So there's a few things that you need to consider when you're buying a pair of skates and these are gonna be some of the most important ones to make sure that you pick the right skates for yourself. Another thing to keep in mind is a couple of times I've seen people posting up images saying that they're deciding between the jet speeds or the super tax or for example the supreme skates the one s's here and the one x's and they're trying to figure out which one of these two skates they want to get. Please bear in mind that all of these different skates have different fits they're designed to fit different types of feet. Now that's really important to mention so if we look at for example the vapors over here from Bauer these have a very narrow fit. Supremes, a slightly wider fit or a contoured fit, they might like to refer to it as, and the Nixus is a classic fit. Similar to the CCM skates, we have the Jet Speeds, which again is gonna be a narrow fit, the uh, Super Tax or Tax in this case, which is gonna be a contoured fit, and the Rib Cores, which is gonna be a flexible fit. So these have different fits for different shapes of feet, different types of players. You need to keep that in mind and figure out which one of these skates is going to offer you the most comfort and the best fit for you to be able to maximize on your performance on the ice. Again, nothing to do with what they look like. It's what they feel like when they're on your feet and which one feels the best. Or if in doubt and you want to go for something that will definitely fit your feet, the last option, VH Custom Skates. You're never going to go wrong with a custom skate. But keep that in mind, there's a lot of different options out there. Have an open mind when you're picking a pair of skates and hopefully pick the right pair. So the next time you're in a hockey store buying a brand new pair of skates, it doesn't matter if you've been skating in the same brand for a thousand years. Companies are constantly innovating and refining their products. You might just find that that brand you've been avoiding for all this time might just be what you need to improve your overall performance and confidence on the ice. Thank you very much for watching as always guys. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below and we will get to them as quick as we can. Uh, but remember, this subject on picking the right pair of skates can get quite complex. It's not a simple case of, you know, I play double A, I'm an average build, which skates are going to be good for me? That's not the way to do it. You need to go into a hockey store, try some skates on because there are so many different options. You need to find what's going to be best and what works best for yourself. Aside from that, if you want to see more on skates, hit the subscribe button down below. And we're also thinking about putting out a video on cheap skates versus more expensive skates, covering the differences between them. If you wanna see a video like that, comment down below. Of course, we've touched on a little bit of those points in this video already, but if you want more detail, subscribe, comment down below, and be sure to check out all of the other videos that we have along the sides there. Big thank you to Ice Locker in Nottingham for sending us these skates to make this video possible. And also big thank you to CCM for hooking us up with these CCM skates that we have here too. Subscribe, comment down below, thumbs up, Follow us on our socials. Take care till next time. Subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.